Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger Oh my god, it's so cold this morning and my heaters in my house didn't come on this morning because of the daylight savings. We've moved forward into time by one hour. So instead of them coming on at four o'clock like they're supposed to, it thinks that it's still three o'clock and my house was an ice block. About to head to work, couple prep meals, couple protein balls, put them in there, get my shake ready and then I'm gonna go sit in the car with the seat heater on instead of sitting in my house, because it's too cold. It's a chilly seven and a half degrees outside. It's red. Right, so I just finished up work, and I've had like eight clients back to back since this morning, have barely sat down, so I'm feeling pretty tired, but I had a really, really positive start to my morning, because I had this new client come and see me, and he was telling me that he's battling ice addiction, and he's been clean since the start of the year, and ever since he's been watching my videos on YouTube, he's been a little bit more focused and motivated obviously to go to the gym but also just to keep his life on track and to move towards a better lifestyle and to try and build something a little bit more stable um, for, for himself so he's actually starting to become a personal trainer now and um, he was just telling me how much my videos had helped motivate him and keep him on track and just inspire him to do better with his, his self and his life in general. That kind of thing like really hits home for me. You know, obviously I make these videos for you guys, but um, it does mean a lot to hear that kind of thing that the power of YouTube can go such a long way and affect people's lives to make them want to better themselves. So without rambling on too much, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And yeah, so... Gonna go train now, it's like 2 p.m., feeling pretty tired, haven't had my pre-workout yet. Didn't bring a shaker for my pre-workout. Gonna have to scoop it into my mouth. Raw. Oh. The reasons why I need to hold on to everything I don't. Alright. I just started my warm-up on my arms. I'm feeling good. And I was just thinking, I'm going to share something with you guys that I don't normally share on my channel. So I try to keep things positive. But I had a little bit of a personal issue arise in the second half of my day, which had me a little bit stressed out. Um, and I've just been waiting at the end of the day, end of my work day to come, so that I could dive into my training and just have a little bit of me time. And already, uh, since I took my pre-workout, I'm just so focused. I'm just attacking this workout with everything I got. I'm just blocking everything out, leaving all the bullshit at the door. And it's just me and the weights, and it's like a little bit of downtime. So, you know, as much as I try and spread positivity on my channel, I do face issues as well. Um, but you know, you just gotta block those out once you get to the gym and just focus. Just after doing my warm up set, I'm already feeling 10 times better. Fucking blood is pumping. I'm gonna attack this workout with everything I've got. You watch how focused I get. I guess the point of that little intro was that mindset is everything. If you walk in here with a whole bunch of shit on your mind and you're gonna let that affect the training, it'll take over you. So if you can channel your energy and just focus on what you've come here to do, and that's smash the weights, you can use it in your benefit. 
That's funny. First exercise down. Feeling pretty good so far. on doing on this exercise lately is focusing on the down phase so when the muscles stretching because the muscle when it's lengthening is when the fibers actually tear so if you can really focus on bringing it down under control you're going to get a lot more out of it than if you just drop it and then bring it up so i'm also going four reps past failure so i'll spot with my other hand drop it down and then just pull back up That is just tearing it up. Oh. oh yeah, bicep is just popping through the skin. What the fuck? Alan Walker Faded just came on, dubstep remix. Motivation levels just went to level 11. <laughs> sets of that little circuit and my tries are starting to really fill up now so I'm gonna hit my uh, weighted dips now as my mass builder shoot for about six to eight reps a little bit heavier exercise no my headphones just died shit it's a problem with having wireless lucky I got my power pack here maybe I'll give them like a 10 minute charge and they might be good to go for the rest of the session all right so I've left my weight belt at home, so I'm just using a 30 kilo dumbbell, putting it in between my legs, which makes life a lot harder. That should do it. Whew. 
pumped. Oh, what a day. All right, so I just left the gym. I didn't end up filming the end of my workout because I just wanted to get it done because it's already 4.45 now. I was going to try and beat the traffic, but then I kind of figured, oh, you're going to cop it, man. <laughs> so I'm just going to go to my mum's house, which isn't that far from here, and I'll go sit with the dogs for a little bit. Let's time kill. Oh, shit. It's raining, and then it's sunny, and then it's raining. Ugh. Millie! <laughs> yeah, girl! What's up, cutie pie? There, little munch. Is that your toy? Yeah! Come on inside, it's raining. Someone on Snapchat just told me to look up that song, Logic by Ball, and it's actually pretty good. I like it. Thank you for the song choice. Hey, look at that mashed sweet potato and minced beef with corn. So I brought my prepped meal with me. It's potato, uh, shepherd's, sweet potato shepherd pie. Um, I thought I'd just kill some time, eat this, and then shoot home after the traffic dies down. What do you reckon, Millie? Oh. You want to watch me on the big screen? Yeah, I just posted a vlog this morning. Oh, Millie, but Bar's got to go home. It's getting late. Come give me a kiss. I love you. I love you too, you little munchkin. I know, I know. I don't want to leave either. Bye, Billa. Billy, I love you. See you, Mum. You watching another vlog? Yeah. All right, I'll speak to you later. Love you. Oh, I'm back on the road now. I don't know if the six o'clock traffic's any better than the four o'clock traffic, but the four o'clock traffic's pretty hectic. So I'm hoping that we can get some smooth sailing home. You know, when the tunnel's free flowing, the rest of the freeway shouldn't be too bad. I think I scored some luck here. Whoa! Is it just me or is my tricep starting to overpower my bicep? Nah, you can never have too much tricep. So I guess today is just one of those days that, you know, you come home and you can't really be bothered cooking. So, what better thing to have than a prepped meal? Cook it up, son. Well, just to top the day off, just sitting here, doing a few emails and whatnot, about to edit today's vlog. And I got this message from a client today, and this is what he said. He said, my brother, today was honestly one of the best sessions I've had with you. Seeing you gave me like so much inspiration and motivation, it went through the roof, man. You honestly lead from the front and you give me hope that I can actually be something someday. Not only in the gym, but socially, financially, mentally and spiritually. I'm trying to surround myself with the best in every field and I'm glad I have you not just as my coach, but honestly as a life coach, a mentor, 100%. And I love that you share tips with me and give me advice as I really need as much help as I can get. God bless you, man. I will stay in touch. Hashtag goal setting, hashtag life goals, hashtag ready to succeed, hashtag ABW all day. <laughs> so, yeah, that seriously hits home. And just to top off what I was talking to you guys earlier today about why I really love my job, like, I don't know, I guess today was just one of those days, you know, I was really putting a lot of effort into helping my clients out. So, anyway, gonna edit today's vlog up and then head to bed. 6 a.m. start tomorrow.